These are 10 shopping hacks guaranteed to save you money each and every time you visit your favorite store. Hack number one. Did you know that most stores have an extensive price adjustment policy that isn't always so visible that could really work to your advantage? If you ever worry you're not getting the best deal at the best time, or if you're making a purchase and you have an inkling feeling the price might drop at a later day, Many retailers allow you a chance to bring in a receipt and get a refund or credit toward the difference after the fact. Costco's price adjustment policy is 30 days. Home Depot is 30 days for appliances, but 90 days for everything else. That's a whopping three months if you're not buying an appliance. Target has a 14 day price adjustment policy. Walmart is seven days. And while Amazon doesn't publish its info from my experience, up to a week after delivery, if the item that you bought drops in price, very frequently an Amazon customer service rep is willing to make a price adjustment or get you that refund. So if you take all of this into account, if there's a high ticket item that you know will be at a lower price for an occasion like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, and you don't want to wait till that big day and risk the item selling out, just look at the price adjustment policy, buy the item a week, two weeks, a month before Black Friday, and then seek an adjustment after the fact, and you don't have to worry about that item selling out. Hack number two is tied to groceries and knowing a precise window to shop if you are looking for something from a deli counter or a specialty item like a rotisserie chicken. Visit the store of your choice after seven or eight o'clock in the evening and many items will be marked down to clearance pricing at this point before the next day rolls around. I wanna use my local Walmart deli as an example, but this trick, as I said, could apply anywhere. I visited the store at 7.15 p.m. And as you can see, not only are many new items marked down or on clearance, but this was not the case when I checked the exact same area of the store earlier in the day. On several big deli purchases, I could be saving anywhere from 10 to $25 on my grocery bill. Speaking of grocery stores, retailers are really gonna hate me when I share hack number five, so make sure you wait around for that. But first, hack number three, pay very close attention to the per item price and unit weight on the price tag. When I'm trying to compare the size and price of products to make sure I'm getting the most bang for my buck, I always pay very close attention to how stores indicate price in relation to product weight. The biggest package is not always the cheapest. Let's use this pack of albacore tuna as an example. The tuna in the sealed pack is $1.64 and it contains 2.5 ounces of tuna or 74 grams. This can of the exact same tuna is six cents less per can and at $1.58 it contains four ounces of drained tuna versus the 2.5 ounces. So you're getting more tuna for less money. Stores will often use different units of measurement side by side, shifting from pounds to grams to fluid ounces so that extra minute of math you do in your head or on your smartphone can save you some serious cash. Another great example of this, I found the 62 count container of Cascade Pods priced at $18.67. Look at the price tag right under it on the store shelf. The tag indicates that $18.67 price works out to 54 cents per ounce. Now to confuse you a bit, if you're not sure if that's a good deal, the smaller 21 pod package that contains the exact same thing right above it is priced at $7.34. This package has a store sticker indicating 35 cents per pod. That's not easy for a customer to compare. Why is one package of pods measured in ounces and the other one measured per pack? In this case, the larger unit works out to 34 cents per pod. You can obviously just divide the cost into the number of pods, but stores play with the unit types to sway a shopper in one direction, which is often tied to which products the stores need to sell first, not what the better value happens to be. Hack number four. Understand the end of the month is your friend when it comes to that big ticket item. You might have heard that when purchasing a car, it often pays to shop at the end of the month. So commissioned salespeople eager to make their final monthly quota might cut you an additional break. But you can actually apply the same tactic of shopping at the end of the month to all sorts of purchases where a store associate is incentivized the same way. That means in addition to cars and RVs, Furniture stores, appliance stores, even larger home theater purchases 
will benefit you if you shop at the end of the month so you can score a price reduction or some other bonuses to sweeten a deal. Before I explain how you can use the way stores track you to your advantage, for hack number five, have you ever noticed that those grocery shopping carts we all push around seem to be getting bigger and bigger? That's on purpose. Grocery stores are trying to capitalize on our strange innate need to fill our shopping carts. The bigger the cart, the more room we all feel we have to buy more items. It's psychological. And a little hack I found as a way to outsmart them and stay on budget is to always use a shopping basket instead of a cart. Or if you can't carry around a cart with ease or you want the convenience of a shopping cart, put a shopping basket inside the cart and use this size parameter as a better way to gauge just how much you're buying. If you have a child or a grandchild, or you can borrow someone else's kid with their permission, put the child in the shopping cart. This also does the job. As a tie-in, another psychological hack to stay on top of how stores physically place products inside their stores is to understand the most in-demand and essential items are always at the back of the store. That's bread, milk, eggs, meaning you need to walk through all the aisles and you'll add all sorts of other items to your shopping cart before you leave. Also, have you ever noticed that your grocery store is regularly shifting around items inside the store? They're moving sections. I know my local Walmart loves to do this where I start thinking I'm crazy. This is done to deliberately disorient us just a little bit so we spend time making our way through aisles we would not typically visit. Costco, which happens to be one of my favorite stores, is definitely guilty of this tactic. Costco will not only shift items regularly throughout the store, but not one aisle has any type of label or signage to further increase that confusion. Finally, if you're trying to stick to a budget, but you still need your essentials, stick to the outer rim of a store as much as possible. You'll find all the essential items on the perimeter of the store. The processed foods and non-essential items are usually on the inner aisles. I will get to that online tracking hack in a moment, but first, for hack number six, if you or someone you know wears glasses, know that you can often score a price that's 30 to 75% cheaper online. No, my advice is do not abandon the local mom and pop prescription glasses stores in our community to go buy glasses from some online corporate entity. But what I am saying is if you typically shop in store from giants like Walmart Vision, Target Optical, or even Lens Crafters, online retail alternatives will present identical or nearly identical glasses and lens options without the markup from which those physical stores often pay their rent. While we're on the topic of online shopping, hack number seven is the way to use the way stores track you to your full advantage. Companies track your decision when you abandon a product in your shopping cart, whether it's because you've become distracted by something else or you just simply forgot. So if there is an item that you want where you're willing to wait a few more days to score a lower price, visit that store online, create an account with your email address, add the item you want to buy to your shopping cart, and then right before you're about to enter your payment information, close your browser. The larger, more sophisticated retail websites will often email you a discount code or a coupon for the item in your abandoned shopping cart if you complete your purchase. Look what happened when I tried to engage a chat agent on 1-800-Flowers.com. I used the automated chat box and asked if they had any promo codes. The robo agent sent me to a page full of active promotion codes. Many websites are programmed to do this. If you want to get more advanced, you can also try chatting with a live agent. On Vistaprint, a website I use from time to time, I asked Abigail, the live agent, to assist with a promo code, and she provided me with a coupon for 15% off. The whole experience lasted a minute, but it was worth $30 of savings on my particular order. Before I get to a hack tied to prescription drug purchases, for hack number eight, you can price match a warehouse club without even being a member. Nor do you even need to be an Amazon Prime member to price match against them. Many shoppers still learning the ropes of price match guarantees do not assume that warehouse clubs are included. But if you read the fine print on a few price match policies, stores like Target will price match online retailers ranging from Amazon to Chewy, 
Best Buy is an example of just one of many retailers that will price match Costco and Sam's Club. And they do not even need to know whether you actually have a membership for that warehouse club you're price matching against. Best Buy's policy states, yes, we do match the prices of warehouse clubs as long as the warehouse club is a local retail competitor and has an identical immediately available product and that all the other price match criteria are met. By the way, if you are enjoying this content, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Hack number nine is tied to generic drugs and eliminating that myth that generic is not as good as brand name. Many of us have heard or been under the impression that generic drugs are not the better purchase, but generic drugs are the exact same thing as a brand name drug. Be aware the FDA actually regulates generic medicines to ensure it's the same quality and performance as the brand name. While we are on the topic of medicine, make sure you use websites or apps like GoodRx, a free search tool that allows you to download coupons to reduce the price of prescription medicine. They're not sponsoring this, this video is not sponsored, but I have found GoodRx to be a great free search tool that allows you to download the coupons to reduce the price of prescription medicine for use at your preferred pharmacy or retailer. While I'm on the topic of brand versus off-brand, before I get to those bonus hacks, it's hack number 10, and understanding that the store brand versus the big brand name might not make any difference when it comes to the following products. You might have heard that store brands are often manufactured by the same facility that makes the name brand alternative, but for some products, it really makes no difference. Just go for the cheapest option. For milk, there is no such thing as a name brand cow. Milk is milk, it will taste the same. When it comes to performance, Bleach is going to do the exact same thing regardless of what brand of bleach you buy. Regular ionized table salt or kosher salt is generally always the same regardless of brand. Flour and baking soda rarely vary in any way based on how they're processed and transported. And when it comes to in-house store brands like Kirkland or Trader Joe's, everything ranging from olive oil to vodka and even breakfast cereal and Oreo dupes are often better or identical to the original. You can see here clearly side by side the branded Oreos and the Trader Joe's attempt at an Oreo look identical. And just between us, I was surprised the Trader Joe's version actually tasted better. And now for two quick bonus hacks. If you're often annoyed or you just feel belittled from that annoying voice on the self-checkout machine, did you know there is a mute button you can use which comes in very handy on those long, large grocery orders? I'm sure quite often my wife wishes I had a mute button, but we'll talk about that another day. And finally, do not neglect or throw away your Sunday newspaper. You'll often find deals and coupons in there that are not presented online. If you do not subscribe to a Sunday paper, it's worth buying one a couple of times per month before a major grocery store order or shopping haul. The savings can add up very quickly. I also share deals and some other store secrets as part of my insider deal guide texting club. You're welcome to drop me a line, send me a message to sign up 440-298-2181 is my number. I hope you guys love the video, but more importantly, I really appreciate you watching. I love you. Bye-bye.